So team two of versus fire and ice is here. And whilst it's going to be a bad, bad week as we lead into team of the year, today's SPC was Gavi, fire or ice. The one with first touch plus is fire. The one with incisive pass is ice. Now, first of all, we're going to take a look at the ice version. He has got five star weak foot with four star skills. That's really, really good to have the five star weak foot on the midfielder. High, high work rates. Cam and left wing outside of that as well. Placehold composition is actually quite different. So this one's got incisive pass, long ball pass, tiki tacker, slide tackle, first touch, flare, rapid and relentless. With good in-games, poor shot power, good finishing, very good passing, good dribbling across the board, okay defensively and okay physically. The other one is five-star skills, high, high, five for eight, of course, explosive and has all of these. Technical, rapid, flare, first touch plus, trickster, Slide tackle and retains the ticky tacker, which is quite nice and also relentless. Cam and left wing again for the fire version of Gavi. He has got really, really nice in games as well. Good pace split, good shooting, need to boost out shot power up to get the Travellers working. Great passing, same dribbling, I do believe. Defensively, not really too different either, and physically, not too different. So ultimately, guys, what you're kind of paying for here is. Do you prefer five-star skills or five-star weak foot on your midfielders? And then do you prefer first touch plus or incisive pass plus? And I can tell you the one that I've completed is the fire version. Now, usually I would go for a five-star weak foot on my midfielders. I think it's really valuable. Four-star is still very nice though. First touch plus is super, super underutilized and underrated on this game. And, of course, technical is incredible. So, to have the technical, I don't think the ice version has it. I just want to quickly check just to make sure I'm almost 90% sure this one doesn't have technical. Yeah. So, that's a pretty big change right there, guys. And, honestly, I don't think a basic is too bad for him. <laughs> with the basic, he goes up to 99 vision, short pass, 98 long pass with 88 curve. Short power gets that little boost there as well, up to 74. Gets a little boost of the pace up to 87 sprint speed. So, it's more like 86, 87 pace. Goes up to 96 agility, 95 ball control, 96 dribbling, with 92 stand tackle, 86 slide tackle, and a little boost to the physical as well and the defensive awareness. I think this card looks really good, guys, personally. Um, I, I really do like him. I think he looks like an absolutely incredible card. I'm going to keep the basic on him as well. We're going to be playing him. I think I'm going to play Benacer there. And we're going to do that in game. I'm going to put him on get forward because I think we need to utilize him going forward. This is the team that we've got him in, guys. And yeah, let's get into the games. If you need cheap, fast and reliable FC24 coins, make sure to go to MMOEXP.com and use my code VIPER to get 5% off your order. All right then, guys, here we go into the live game with Gavi. We've already recorded the highlights and we're 8-0 in qualifiers right now. So the games are going to be really, really sweaty. The game that we just played really was sweaty as well. I like this, Gavi. Um, what he offers is quite unique in the midfield. You don't get it from too many players. Um, you know, he, he's really low centre of gravity, which I, I think is quite nice in the midfield. To have as a mix, right? You don't want just that. You also don't want just heavy, um, kind of massive players in your midfield. So you kind of need to get that mix. Gavi is one of them players that does offer that now. Here he is straight away. Oh, yes, it's in. Oh, off the bar. Yeah. Oh, never mind to all of that. That's not bad, though, guys. Like, you know, he doesn't have a lot of shot power. So... The fact that he can get them on target and, and they, they be that good, in my opinion, is a positive, as we might go 1-0 down here because I'm playing poorly. Virgil van Disney is a penalty, isn't it? I tried to block it. He's been sent off for that too. No, he's only been yellowed. That's okay then. That's okay. <coughs> he's taken it with Neres as well. I suppose he needs goals or something with David Neres. Yeah, fair play. He's 1-0 up. And we should have scored with uh, Gavi as well, shouldn't we? Or Solanke even. Solanke should have scored. His passing feels so bloody good though. Oh, he's done a good run there. Ref. That is the issue you will find with him a lot though. He's really, really weak. Good Muller. Wow, he's got a score out. That's what that's 99 finishing, by the way. 99 finishing. He feels so lightweight. In a good way too, man. Ooh. Ref. It is a foul. Nice. Okay. Good chance here. Went backwards. Nice. Oh, no. no! Why on earth? Please tell me in the comments, why has he taken it that wide? 
That's not what I wanted at all. That feels really stupid. I didn't ask for that. I didn't do it. That's really strange. I'm going to be fine that. Oh, why? That's the game and not Gavi there, I can't lie. That's the game doing its, you know, silly stuff, which it does with um, where the free balls go. I really don't like it. It's it's really annoying. But this is, this is, of course, a very, very sweaty game. So if I go a little bit silent, I do apologise. I do want to get a 10-0 in college, which you might not get the way we're playing here. We need to fix up just a little bit. That's nice. That's nice. Gavi with a bit of time here again. Miller, you had... You ha you, what is going on in this game here? Here's Gavi once again. Bit of time. Finds the ball. Into Christian Pulisic. Oh, that's a pen. It has to be. We're not going to take this with Gavi, but he has made that, guys. He has made that. Gerd Muller steps up. Gerd Muller's having an absolute stinker here, isn't he? Absolute stinker from Gerd Muller. Oh, this is the thing that I was doing a minute ago that worked quite well. Nice. Oh, never mind. Sorbadia there. <sighs> nice pass. Oh, this is lovely football. Hello, can some... There's the skill moves. Jesus Christ. Should have scored that. I mean, I did yellow it. That's on me. That is on me. It's annoying because this guy's a good player and I can't afford to miss them chances, but that is not on Gavi, I'm afraid. Poor from me. Nice. Nice. Go on, Gerd. Gerd's in this time. Is Gerd going to miss again? Yes, he is. That is 99. 99. Finishing. Go on, Pulisic. There we go. Assist for Gabby there as well. I mean, he, he, it was such an easy pass. But I, I hope you guys can see the kind of quality you are going to get from Gabby just across that midfield. Yeah, he doesn't offer a lot defensively. Yeah, he is on get forward. I think that's the way you should play with the fire version. And he won't offer a lot defensively. But, um, you know, as, as a kind of progressor, uh, building up the play fast, I think you'll be hard-pressed to find many better than, than this uh, this Gabby, guys. Honestly, this guy's playing like an absolute freak as well. <laughs> he really, truly is. But I, I, I hope I'm making sense with what I'm saying. This kind of player doesn't come around very often. Nice. The fact that he's got five-star skills too and his passing is absolutely wild. Good. Could be in here with a bit of luck. No, no, never mind. Damn, this Gerd Muller's a bit terrible, huh? Man, I really don't like Muller so far. I know that's not the hood of reviews on. And we have already reviewed him, to be fair, but doesn't feel very good. Gavi, on the other hand, though, I love that right there, guys. You see how we kind of just are able to spin just like that without, without any like bad left stick dribbling or anything? Not a lot of players offer that kind of quality. C come on, game, please. Compose yourself. We are recording a video. There is no need to be stressed. This goes Gabby again. Oh! Gerd Muller scores it that time. And that is Gavi, guys. Can you see the quality he offers? Can you see it? Because it is nice, man. It's really nice. This card's staying in my team. Yeah, he. as I said, I've said it a few times already. I'll go to highlights when it gets to half time. Um... This is that kind of player that can't do a lot defensively, but can change your game going forward, right? And the only difference is between this version of Gabby and the other one is first touch and technical, which are very valuable play styles, in my opinion. And, of course, um, you know, you're losing a few stats here and there, but I think it's quite evident which one's better because incisive pass, if I can be real with you all, is probably one of the worst play style pluses on the game. Uh, to be honest. So you might as well take the five-star skills and the uh, technical to be able to drive through the midfield, kind of like what Zidane's just done there. Of course, Zidane's a lot better at doing that, though, because he's, he's like, a lot more physical. Jesus Christ, game. This guy really wants to score in areas, doesn't he? Okay, let's go to some highlights. This guy's really annoying. There's Gavi on the ball. Awful physicals there. Got a bit lucky. But he has done well to find that pass. Really clean pass there. Into Gerd Muller now too. Gerd Muller shouldn't miss that. He has. But that was nice from Gavi. Nice turn there from Gavi. Find that little ball in there. It's nice. It's really nice and it's a good finish from Gerd Muller. That is what you're going to get quality-wise from Gavi. He seems to be really, really responsive. 
Uh, can turn on a sixpence as well with that first touch if you do get the ball into him quickly. So I think that might be the way to kind of use him. There's Gavi again. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a bit unlucky there. I just couldn't get through that little gap. Gavi here, an opportunity to find out to Pulisic. And another chance. Oh, it's a brilliant ball. Oh, we're so unlucky there. The strength of Ledley is just too much in that instance. Gavi again, first touch. Mm. That is where you're going to have an issue with him, guys. You've got to be very careful. He is really, really weak. But, oh, bad Trevella there too. Bad Trevella. He, he's really, really good at kind of receiving the ball fast and then laying it off again or kind of waiting for a run of someone and then finding picking out the pass. He's good at that kind of stuff. Can we find that, please? Oh, it's a good ball. It's a bad touch from the owl. Still good chance. Mm, well, there you go. Gary done well there. That was a good pass. That's nice from Gavi. He's in the box. Does really well there as well. And we can't score still. Wins the ball back too. That's a good tackle, that. He's in the box here. That's nice again. And again. Nice. Back into him too. That's nice play. Good, Muller. That's a lovely goal. And Gavi was incredible in that, that play there. Incredible. Goes again. Oh, his dribbling is out of this world, man. Gavi again. Finds a little pass into Pulisic. We have to go back into Gavi here too. There's the first touch right there. That's a bit unlucky. Gavi with a bit of time on the ball here. A lot of time on the ball, in fact. Oh, he is really, really weak. Like, really weak. That's nice. Nice turn there. Good pass as well. I love this little Gabby, man. Oh, he's got to it. Nice. I didn't think he was going to. Here he goes again, the little man. It's a good pass into Mo. Oh, oh, oh. What a chance. Good, Muller. Mm. 99 finishing, by the way. Man, I'm telling you, this card's actually sick. This card is actually really, really good. The only thing he struggles with is, is absolute weak. He is so, so physically weak. It's mad. Go, Gavi, go. Good out ball as well. Nice pass there. We're going to go back into Gavi here too. Gavi's got a bit of time to think about what he's going to do. Oh. Uh, yeah, the, the problem with him, and it's not really a problem because I actually do think he's a sick card. Come on, game. Um, is he just is super, super weak? He has, he has no upper body strength to like drive through midfields and kind of have a little bit of tussle. So you have to be very careful of that. Nice. Oh, we still got the chance though. Gabby's made this one. That's lovely. That's lovely. Great finish here as well. Gets a very, very sweaty player here. I've never really talked about this, but you know, kind of when you complete an SBC and you're kind of on the fence, if it's going to be worth it or not. This is what I was like with Gabby. But I am so, so, so impressed with him. We're going to go through his stats. And at the end of this bit, I'm going to tell you who he's very comparable to. A completely different way, but he's very comparable to nonetheless. Five-star skills on him is really nice. Four-star weak foot passing, no matter what foot it's on. Incredible. Two games. And let me show you where we were in qualifiers. The games are sweaty. Um, he, he is insane. With his pass. And it feels like he's got all the passing play style. So I don't know why you'd want the incisive pass. You just don't need it. Passing was absolutely ridiculous. You know, seven assists in two games. Jesus. That's mad. Now, his shooting's okay in the box. His Trevellas aren't the greatest just because his shot power's so low. If you want to boost that shot power up to give him better Trevellas, absolutely go ahead and do so. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, guys, we're talking we're talking about his passing as the main thing here. And his passing is absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. Dribbling-wise, actually very strong as well. Feels like messy on the ball. Um, you know, technical as well, incredible. Rapid is really interesting to have on a box-to-box -box midfielder, which is where you should play him. And first touch, if you've used the Dan 92, you'll know first touch is OP as all hell if you know how to utilise it. And Gavi is similar to Zidane, and that was who I was going to compare him to, but the lightweight version. The way you can kind of get the ball under pressure with Gavi, the shame out the composure a little bit, 
and just spin so quickly because of how good his agility and balance is and just completely beat the press of a midfield is actually crazy. But not only can you do that, beat the press of the midfield, you can drive into space very fast with him because of first touch plus and also rapid. So it works really, really nicely. Technical as well, feels great on this card. Tiki Taka is a great one as well if you're looking to play very, very fast. The only thing that I would say is a bit poor about this card, uh, first of all, is you won't really feel him too much defensively. I don't think you should play him as a defensive option. He is so much better going forward, so utilize him in that way. And physically, he is very, very weak, but he kind of makes up for it with the aggression, and you can feel that in game. Definitely get the fire version of this, guys. There's no reason for the ice version. Uh, the pass on the weak foot feels incredible on this one anyway. So take this one, get use of the technical and the first touch. You'll absolutely not regret it, guys. Very good card. I think I'm going to rate him a 9.7 out of 10. Value Freeman is probably like a 3 out of 10, but he is a monster in game. I would certainly, certainly recommend you go and try this one out. Guys, if you haven't enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, subscribe to the review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.